people here today we're going to be attempting to clear up a commonly held misconception does surviving a battle affect the score does uh hp left over at the end of the battle uh affect scoring does time stayed alive in the battle affect scoring well the answer is no but we'll prove that to you today uh, xp credits same scoring system uh, as you can see there and what are we how are we getting xp and credits Greatest base earnings comes from damage done to enemy ships. Uh, rewards for damage is determined by a percentage of the ship's HP removed, not the amount of raw damage done. Very important point. So let's say you do 5,000 damage in two different cases. Number one, against a destroyer. Let's say he's got 10,000 damage. That's 50% of that ship's HP. Uh, you're going to get 50% of the scoring on that ship. Uh, whereas if you do the same amount of damage against a 50,000 HP battleship, for instance, that's only 10%. So you're going to be doing 20% less in terms of scoring by shooting at battleships, uh, or in that instance, the battleship versus the destroyer, right? So makes sense. Uh, not only do we talk about good strategy on this channel, but we talk about uh, scoring. They go hand in hand, right? You're rewarded for trying to win the game. Shooting destroyers, important play, highly rewarded. And there's a little bit of a difference in terms of uh, if there's a ship despair or a tier disparity. So if I'm a tier five, for instance, I shoot a tier six, more points than if I do the same amount of damage against a tier four. All right, so that doesn't make sense. And all together, these are about 85% of the total earnings. So you can see it right here. Credits, base XP, same thing. Uh, kills, sure, you get a 25% bonus there. Damaged aircraft, great. Yes, we'll take it. Captured points, uh, partial capture points. Basically capturing the bases, yes, and defending the bases. Blocking the capture, uh, same as capture assist. All right, so very lucrative in terms of that. Uh, that's the bulk of the scoring. There's a little bit of extra scoring that can take place here, about 15% of the total generally. Uh, tanking and potential damage is rewarded, and potential damage is basically, okay, it says within 700 meters of the ship. Any torpedo shells, bombs, whatever, whether or not they hit you, that's called potential damage. So being in a spot where you're actually tanking will reward you. Battleships on the moon take note. You get zero points for watching the teammates in front of you tank damage. Uh, but if you actually move forward and took some shots yourself, your scores would go up. All right. Uh, detection. Any guy on the enemy team hasn't been spotted for a minute and a half, you spot them. You get a little bit of a boost there. And spotting damage. What does that mean? Uh, let's say I'm in a destroyer. I spot a cruiser that's behind an island. If someone on my team shoots him and nobody on my team would spot him except for the fact that I achieved a line of sight on him, I get a little bit of the XP and the credits for that damage, right? So basically trying to win the game and helping your team to win the game uh, earns you credits, XP, and whatever else. Here's an interesting point here. Diversity of actions rewarded. Battleship that camps at the back doing one task, shooting at long range, will earn less than the battleship that accrues the same damage while shooting and also defending the capture point. Makes sense, right? All right. And here's extremely important. Uh, base XP rewards increase 50% for the winning team. You get a 2,000 XP game. Uh, if you lose, it's 2,000. You win, it's 3,000. Very lucrative. So trying to win the game, making those plays, winning more games as a whole, going to boost your earnings. All right, you can read through here. You're not going to see anything time spent alive in the game. Irrelevant. Uh, whether or not you're alive at the end of the match or not, irrelevant. And, uh, you know, damage taken, whatever else. Uh, none of these have anything. You don't have to pay back damage to your ship. None of this affects the scoring. All right, so very common misconception. Actually, if you want to really do a deep dive on it, Let's say you have the exact same game, but in one game you take uh, zero potential damage, um, but you do the same amount of damage to the enemy team, whatever else. And one game you actually die, your whole ship's uh, reduced. You're probably going to score better for that one because of the higher potential damage. Sure, if all those uh, shells just missed you, but they came close to you in the game that you didn't take any damage, then you'd still get points for that. But in general, uh, being in relevant positions is going to be much more lucrative. So... Hopefully that clears it up for you guys, and hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the thumbs up. All right, see ya.